it comes. Uh, this is the example that we had before. <coughs> f of t equals uh, the square root of t squared plus 9 minus 3. Actually, I'm thinking about it. This is <coughs> exactly the same thing that we had now. Well, no, it's not exactly, so it's okay. Okay. We want to evaluate the limit as t goes to zero of f of t. This is pretty much the same solution. Notice that the keyword is evaluate. Evaluate is find the, va the exact value when I when uh, we want to solve it numerically or graphically, I probably write as estimate instead of evaluate. Okay, so we we already done it uh, previously uh, by graph. So note here, uh, previously uh, we estimated the limit. is 0 0.16 repeated um, using either Excel or a graph, right? But this was estimate. We estimated. So now we need to evaluate. So to evaluate, we're going to say the following. We're going to massage first the, uh, the function. So first of all, let's write it limit notation. The li limit notation will be uh, the following. The limit of um, when t goes to 0 of f of t will be the limit when t goes to 0 of the square root uh, of t squared plus 9 minus 3 over t squared. And if I ask you what to do next, 90% uh, of you should come up and tell me, okay, this is what you need to do. So go ahead, tell me what to do. I thought 90% would say, go ahead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is, what's the difference between what you've done before and now? It's the same idea. The conjugate, of course, is the, is the square root of t squared plus 9. While we had minus 3 here, we're going to have plus 3 here. And, of course, if I multiply the numerator, I have to multiply the denominator as well. So, and, and from this point on, uh, we are following the same procedure. So, go ahead and do it. You don't have to wait on me. Okay. Make sure to use the limit notation properly. In other words, write the limit rather than put equal sign. Uh, I'll be very picky when you write it on your paper. I need to see this for uh, formality. But uh, basically, we're going to cal we're going to square both sides. So, <clears throat> as we square, we have t squared plus nine, and then minus three squared, which is minus nine. Okay. <clears throat> now, w what I want to do now is something I unfortunately haven't done it before, and I should have done it in this solution. Uh, I want to follow 
the formal steps of the limit laws. I, mean, I, I kind of, I jumped into the substitution right there, but I really should apply more limit laws, such as the quotient law, such as the uh, sum law, and so on. So, since I didn't do it in the previous example, this is a good opportunity to show it in this example. Okay? So, I'll write a note here this time, uh, following following limit laws. We're going to say that the limit as t approaches 0 of f of t will be the limit of 1 as t approaches 0 divided by the limit as t approaches 0 of the square root of t squared plus 9 plus it plus 3. So what I did, I used the quotient law. So, now, What law did I use now? Sum. Right? In the denominator. Okay. What limit shall I use next? What law shall I use next? Root. We'll do the root first. I'll do the substitution at the very end. So I'll keep it like that. And the root, the limit of a root is the root of the limit. Remember, so we have t squared plus 9. Thank you. Forgot about it. Okay. So notice what I did. Uh, instead of taking the limit of the square root, it's the square root of the limit, and here I'll keep it like so. This will be redundant uh, later on, but this is, as I said, a, a following. Uh, I'm doing something formally. And if in the test, when I ask you to do, to uh, show me the step by step limit laws, that's what you need to do, as stages as it is. Uh, what else I need to do right now? I have, so this is the root law. Okay. I have one more law before substitution. What is it? Actually, I have two more. Well, you have another, uh, sum law. I have another sum. Okay, one more. Looks like uh, I'm looking at the rear projector, and the aspect ratio over there is different than uh, these two on the side. Okay, so what say you? What 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 uh, law am I missing here? Nobody see it. 
I'm sorry? You almost, you almost got it right. What do we have here? It's a power. So we have a power law. Okay? The limit of a function raised to a power is the power of the limit. So we're going to say this is the power of the limit as t goes to zero of t, like so. We pull the power outside, and I think that concluded. We stripped the limits to its very basic stuff. Okay, so this will be the power law. And now, what's left is the substitution. So we need to substitute it one, two, three, four times. Okay, the limit of a constant is a constant. It doesn't matter what t equals to. We have one on top. And then we have the square root. The limit, again, the limit of, uh, when, of t when t goes to zero is zero. Here we do the rate substitution. So it would be zero squared. The limit of nine... 9 is a constant. We don't care what happened to t. And 5 is a constant. Is it 5? Was it 3? So this will be 3 the rest of the way, right? And what we see, we see 1 over the square root of 9 plus 3. So we have 1 over 3 plus 3. And this is the exact value, which is 1 over 6, which is equals to 1.6 repeated. 1.6 repeated is exact value. 1.667 is approximation. Okay? So, uh, of course, I took the long route because I want to show you the formality, how the limit law, uh, how you break down the solution using it in individual limit laws. I'm sorry? <coughs> Yeah, 0.16. Sorry about that. There is a 0 here and 0.16. And the 6 is repeated, not the 1. Thanks.